Megan and Annie are ready to have their baby's four-month developmental milestones reviewed. Pepin is four months old, and Michelle is six months old. But, as Dr. Panda said, <laughs> it is important to understand corrected gestational age compared to chronological age for premature babies. So, although Michelle's chronological age is six months, two months older than Pepin, her corrected gestational age is four months. So both babies are expected to have achieved the four-month milestones. Annie and Megan noticed that Michelle is a little bit behind in her ability to do all the things that a four-month-old baby should do. However, none of the warning signs that Dr. Panda mentioned at four months are present. Megan tells Annie that she memorized all the developmental milestones Michelle needs to achieve at four months. Why are they so important? Annie asks. I want to know about other things, too. Why are you so interested in the developmental milestones? Megan wants to be sure that her baby is developing well. In fact, she has tons of questions for Dr. Panda. Megan has checked Michelle's social and emotional milestones, and she performs well on all of them. Pepin should be able to smile spontaneously when he sees people. At this age, babies like to play with people, and they might cry when the playing stops. Sometimes at this age, babies can copy some movements and facial expressions, like smiling or frowning. If Pepin can do all this, he is achieving the developmental milestones. Michelle, can you show Pepin how well you can do this? <sighs> Mothers need to be especially careful if their babies do not watch moving objects or if they do not smile at people. Let us review the language and communication milestones. Annie has been so happy that Babine began to babble. Check mark, said Megan. You see, Annie? He achieved another check mark because he tried to imitate my cheerful sounds. Do you notice that he babbles with expression? Very good, Pepin. Have you noticed that Pepin cries differently when he is tired or hungry? Check mark, Pepin. You need to tell the pediatrician or neonatologist if baby does not coo or make sounds. In regard to the cognitive milestones that are about learning, thinking, and problem solving, at this age, babies should be able to express happiness or sadness and respond to affection. They use one hand to reach for a toy. They use their hands and eyes together to follow something and reach for it. When you move things from one side to another, they follow the object with their eyes from side to side. They can watch a face very closely, and they recognize people and things at a distance. You need to tell the pediatrician or neonatologist if baby has trouble moving one or both eyes in all directions. Regarding the milestones for movement and physical development, at this age, babies can hold their heads steady, unsupported, push down on their legs when feet are on a hard surface, and roll over from tummy to back. They can hold a toy and shake it and swing at or reach for hanging toys. They can bring hands to mouth, and if lying on their stomach, they can push up to their elbows. You need to tell the pediatrician or neonatologist if babies cannot hold their heads steady, don't bring objects to the mouth, or don't push down with legs when feet are placed on a hard surface. Hagen wonders what tests Michelle is going to have today in the visit to Dr. Panda. She has a list of things that Michelle can do and of things she thinks she should be doing at her age. She wonders if Michelle is developing correctly. 
Dr. Panda has been taking notes on Michelle's development and will test her further today by comparing her progress. <laughs> this high-risk clinic is a very good thing for Michelle because the neonatologist is helping Megan. Thank <laughs> you.